Hello and welcome to the We Buy Motorcaram.com YouTube channel. Today we have got a beautiful piece of kit. It is the Swift Contiki 669. Now this one in particular is a 2016 registered model. It comes with the stunning black cab with a really nice black, grey and red graphics all the way down the side. As you can see, it is a twin rear axle motorhome. It does have the very large Fiamma F45L awning, as well as twin solar panels, satellite dish and roof rails. We've got the capability to put a Thule bike rack on the rear, as well as the twin reversing camera at the back as well. Nice LED lighting, as you can see. does have a garage that goes underneath the rear ideal for storage for things like the safari room and whatever kit that you need on your long tours now this motorhome does come in at five ton as a total factory weight and a factory payload of 941 kilograms obviously this will decrease as extras optional spec and everything like that is put on as well Gas locker can fit two 13 kilogram bottles, LED daytime running lights, and just one stunning motorhome overall. Inside the Swift Contiki 669, it's just as stylish in here as it is outside. We shall start with a lounge at the front. This is an L-shaped seating on one side, two forward-facing seats with belts, and another bench seat on the other side. Now, arguably, this can be used as a five berth. In my opinion, you could sleep somebody, even if it is a child, lengthways on the L-shape uh, dining area. Although I, I do believe it is classed as a four berth, as well as four belts. In the cab itself, very, very well specced out. Cab air conditioning, six speed gearbox, driver and passenger airbag, electric mirrors and windows, cab blinds, steering wheel controls, cruise control, Bluetooth, USB ports, reversing camera just above pretty much everything that you need in a cab. Really nice seats as well. Really sporty looking seats by Swift. as well as cup holders and it does before I miss it have the tablet holder on top which you can use for a set and hour or anything you want to also has some nice brown trim all the way around the cab it sets it off as well as the, the silver rings on the steering wheel turning around facing towards the rear on the right hand side we have a nice large kitchen this includes storage, wash, uh, sink, four hob burner, oven grill, again even more storage above with the microwave itself. And then just opposite we have the 190 litre fridge. Above the cab we have got a control panel for both the vehicle lights and everything like that and we also have it for the Aldi heating system the wet heating system this has little radiators pocketed in different places keeps the motorhome nice and warm on the opposite to the kitchen we have the bathroom as you can see there's one of the radiators there with a cassette toilet storage sink and a separate shower compartment and there it is all little. It does light up really nice. In the rear, this is the 669. The 669 is the island bed model. Comes with storage above and to the sides, as well as the bed does lift up underneath. Now this is, this one in particular has only done just over two and a half thousand miles. 
some of the upholstery is still covered just to show the condition off windows to either side of the bed pioneer sound system all the way around the motorhome so it can be heard in the bedroom at the rear and we have one tv which obviously hooks up to the satellite dish with a sky box as well as a tv in the front as well this motorhome it is a very nice big long motorhome 8.56 meters in length 2.35 meters in width and 2.9 meters 98 meters in height great spec three liter jtd engine with a 180 brake horsepower which is the biggest engine and the biggest upgrade you can get full of extras fiamma f45 l awning safari room in the garage satellite dish alloy wheels led lights two solar panels roof rails the sky box two tvs pioneer sound system aldi wet heating and everything in the cab like the bluetooth reversing camera usb and everything that you need stunning motorhome great motorhome for touring and that is about everything i can tell you on the motorhome please don't forget to subscribe for the latest hints tips tricks and motorhome reviews and i shall hope to see you soon